right, Shalom, all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and double honors to the apostles and the others, great millstone, Bashem Rakak with Dash. My name is Yakalba from Plain Tables Camp Philly. Now, this is it's based upon uh, Revelation 17, which says, These ten shall hate the whore. All right, it's a ruble nears five year high against euro. The Russian currency is the world's best performing this year, according to Bloomberg. So, they're uh, authoring this off of what they've read in Bloomberg. All right, so that's that title. The link will be in the description box. And the main thing here is EU gives companies green light to buy gas from Russia. And this could very well be the thing that divides uh, the European Union, the EU, which is part of the beast. All right. The, the, the prophecy is that the, the ten horns going to hate the whore. And they're going to eat her flesh and burn it with fire. You know, so that's the overall pr uh, spirit of this video. Now, they try to... Uh, allude to if i'm not mistaken that they have the right to open up gas prom accounts without violating eu uh sanctions or doctrine whatever all right but the point is that the russians want you to buy their gas in rubles you don't give a damn if you open up a damn account that's not the point if you open up an account the, the point is if you buy it in rubles all right I, i'm not sure if that's if they made that illegal. I don't know if they actually can make that illegal to say that you, you can only buy gas in dollars. I don't know if that's like a law. All right. It says um, the European Union said companies can keep buying gas without breaching sanctions as it softened, softened its stance in a standoff with Moscow over energy supplies. The European Commission sent its revised guidelines to member member states on Friday. A spokesman said on Monday in the update recommendations, it said companies should make a clear statement that they consider their obligations fulfilled once they pay in euros or dollars. Okay, so it sounds like saying, well, if, as long as you do that, you're fulfilling your obligation to the European Union. Okay. Uh, EU sanctions do not prevent economic operators from opening a bank account in a designated bank for payments due under contracts for supply of natural gas in a gas estate so they can open up uh, a gas prom account with the russians all right and a currency specified in a currency specified in those contracts so i i don't see the issue here if so if this is uh, eu sanctions do not prevent economic operators from opening a bank account in a designated bank for payment due under contracts for supply of natural gas so if it's un so if it's within the contract to pay in rubles then there shouldn't be a problem then uh, then the u.s has no jurisdiction because they're butting their you know their uh <laughs> they're, they're butting in on a european union which america is supposed to be separate from the european union but you know behind the scenes you know the, the whore has sway has some sway all right um, operators should make a clear statement that they intend to fulfill their obligations under existing contracts and consider their contractual obligations regarding a payment already fulfilled by paying in euros or dollars in line with existing contracts so they're saying that according to this that their existing contract says euros or dollars all right so if that's a fact then what the, what's the fuck is the use for this article all right the guidelines does not prevent companies from opening an account Gazprom and will allow them to purchase gas in accordance with EU sanctions following uh, Russia's invasion of Ukraine. So do the EU sanctions say you can't pay in rubles? Would they not being clear on that? All right. It, but it stops short of addressing the requirement by Moscow to open up a second account in rubles. All right. So what they're saying is there is a contract to pay in euros or dollars so that's, that's what i'm what i'm what i heard but they're saying there's nothing preventing them from opening up another account and making new contracts and paying in rubles so the previous con so the existing contracts and previous contracts say euros and dollars but there's no doctrine saying we can't open up another account and pay in, in rubles 
So what they can do, they can just reduce their euros and uh, ruble. Uh, they can reduce their euros and dollars and then increase their ruble purchases. That doesn't seem like what, they, what they're trying to, trying to do. Let's read along. Uh, which according to a decree by President Vladimir Putin, all right, when you shorten Vladimir up, is is Vlad, all right, is needed to make the uh, payment complete. Right, so you can say you can buy 10% in euros or 5% in euros, 5% in dollars, and 90% in rubles. That could be a, a thing. The guidance matches the Bloomberg report on Saturday. European gas prices extended losses on Monday. European companies are starting to move ahead to comply with Russia's demands to make the gas flowing. To keep the gas flowing, Italian energy giant Eni Spa will move to open accounts in rubles and euros with Gazprom. So, like my assumption was, I think I'm correct. A certain percentage is going to be in euros and dollars, and then a certain amount is going to be in rubles. Uh, so, and I, and yeah, I would think it'd be wise to increase the rubles and decrease the euros and dollars, or at least decrease the dollars. Cause that's, that's really the, the main, well, yeah, I think the main issue is America, America's opposition. Uh, and then the Europeans opposition will be second. Cause they, cause I guess you Russia, no, they know that Russia, well, America is the mighty power. All right, and uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, the company was re uh, waiting for those guidelines to be formally published before acting, one of the people said. German giant uh, Yenepper, SE, and Austria's OMV AG have also said they expect gas purchases to continue. And if, and if Russia sticks to the line, you, you got to open up the, uh, another account with uh, rubles. But you got to keep, according to the contracts, See, I don't know how long the contracts are. If they're about to end this year, then they can, I guess they would. Well, I think maybe in the European Union's contract, you have to purchase it with euros and dollars. So maybe they have to keep that open. But it, it, it may not specify the exact percentage. This is why they found the loophole where they can open up another account and make purchases in rubles also. I still think that we got enough uh, value out of this and i think this probably goes into s a specifics here but i'll leave the article so you can read that on your own all right so this could very well be like i said in the beginning the beginning of because you know america's gonna have a problem with that america is the whore all right uh and the beasts are the different nations you know, different european powers all right revelation 17 and 16 and 10 horns which thou uh saw us upon the beast these shall hate the whore. Now, America is also known as a beast, a beast also, but a different beast, which is the reincarnation of the Roman Empire. All right. uh, Revelation 17, 16, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. So incidents like these and similar incidences where they're disagreeing with a, a war with, some, with proxy wars or energy which is very big it, 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 it's bigger than you know what then what people are making it out to be it's this can have very uh dire you know implications if you know the eu just says you know fuck the euro or or at least fuck the dollar and you know say we gotta we gotta have this energy for our country i believe Austria, i think was like 65 percent of their Energy was uh, or oil or gas was based upon Russian imports. And they said, I did a previous video on it. And they said, no, we, we can't just say going on, go along with this embargo. All right. But whatever happens, you know, this is just some evidence that, you know, this union that the EU has with each other and that the EU has with America is not as strong as uh, it appears. All right. To the, you know, to the un, you know, unwise you know i can we can clearly see that it's uh these are disagreements that are going to eventually boil over and become a problem all right uh 20 european natural gas buyers open gas prom accounts to pay for russian gas and rubles report says so pretty much along the same lines all right uh they have obligations under the european union contract to buy in dollars and euros but it's nothing that says if i'm not mistaken that they can't o also open up another account and pay in rubles and they can adjust it to whatever percentage they want. I don't know if it specifies a, a specific percentage, which it probably, which it can't actually, because then they wouldn't uh, open up a, a, 
account to pay in rubles, so it can't specify a specific uh, percentage, or at least it had to be less than ninety nine percent. But and I I doubt that Russia would go for that. They they want mo in my opinion they they would want most of their gas to be purchased in their own currency right? since they're being sanctioned by the EU and uh, the US. Twenty European natural gas buyers have open gas prime accounts, and a source told Bloomberg Vladimir or Vlad Putin has demanded that foreign buyers pay in rubles for supplies. 20 year European natural gas. Okay, I think we get that. Who? Who? Can we have a list of these na nations? European Commission President Euroso von der Leyen called Putin's policy a clear breach of contract and an attempt to circumvent the sanctions. It is a clear breach of contract. Does it say that you you have other currency can't be used does it say that if it doesn't say that then it's not a, i don't think it's a breach of contract now if it says eu or european uh the euro and dollars have to be used okay they're going to continue to use it i think i think you well just get the point all right is open up a certain percentage in uh rubles <laughs> hopefully 90 percent. like i said the, the five five and then the 90 all right, so we can get this thing to get this thing rolling, get this war started. All right, so the Lord can deliver us out of this bitch. All right, gas prime source. So what are these? See, I don't like them doing that. What are the nations? What are the 20, 20, 20 countries? Three hundred percent. So they, so those Europe, the Europeans are suffering. I'm hearing the gas prices going to double and all this shit, man. We need to be delivered. And we have Israelites in these all those lands. All right. So I close with this. It says uh, Sirach 12 and 8. And this is a true proverb. A friend cannot be known in prosperity. And an enemy cannot be hid in adversity. That's a true saying. Okay. Uh, and the prosperity of a man. Of a man. In the prosperity of a man. Enemies will be grieved. But in his adversity. Even a friend will depart. All right. Never trust thy enemy for like his iron rusts, so is his wickedness. So that that trust level is clearly being challenged, if anything. All right. Um. All right. So I hold it there. So hope you were edified. Shalom to the next lesson.